All right, how's it going? This is Sam Wilger with thinkparticle.com. And in this quick tip video, we're going to talk about modeling floor layouts and shelving and other things like that. Um, it's just a quick modeling tip. Um, I am going to show you how to take a plane in Cinema 4D and lay out, say, we'll start with a floor layout and then we'll do a shelf. Um, we won't do any texturing, but we'll do the modeling. Um, so let's go ahead and say our floor for something like, um, we've just released our new product, the, uh, oh, where is it? It's down here, the Think Particle Building Generator. Um, but you don't need that to do this. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, actually, I will use this to give kind of a visual example. Um, and let's go ahead and just turn off the roof and the floor. Okay, so um, one thing I want to do is kind of point out that there's a lot of polygons right here. Um, and I don't need that many. Let's say 10 by 10 will be good. Okay, um, actually, I'll just use 5 by 5. So I want to design a floor layout of... Actually, no, we'll go with 10 by 10. I want to do a floor layout of a room like this. So I'm going to take that plane and I'm going to make it editable. And what I'm going to do... And this is something I've been doing to help myself design floor layouts lately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to hit UZ. And that's the same, that's equivalent of uh, just typing or right clicking after I make a polygon selection and hitting melt. So we're going to take these polygons and melt them together. Okay. And we're going to create a kind of a, a hallway. We're going to create two rooms here. And we'll probably extend this one. Okay. Um, and then we'll get these last two down here. And then if we go into our spline editor, um, or excuse me, our edge selection. Um, we can go ahead and select all of these edges that we now have. And I'm going to hold shift and make sure I get all of them. Okay, so that's going to be our floor layout. Um, now one thing you want to make sure you do is not select the edges around the edge, but just inside. Then there's this tool um, under mesh, you go to mesh, commands, edge to spline. Okay, and then you drop that down and pull it out, and then you hide that plane, or you can just delete it. Um, and I'll zero out the floor, and I'll uh, hold option or alt, and uh, drop it under an extrude object, and uh, make it as tall as my building is. And then I will hold alt or option again, and drop it under a cloth surface, which is found under the simulate tab, I think. And then I'll just uh, add some thickness to it. And now um, you have uh, these walls. And um, actually, I'm going to make it thicker. Um, and say you actually need to uh, make these, um, make some door frames and stuff like that. You can drop this under a connect object and then drop that under a bool. And then under there, you can drag a cube and then. Uh, drag that under a connect object as well and um, we'll turn off the bull for a second and make these connect objects taller and um, or excuse me these cubes taller and drop them to the floor um, maybe we'll only make them 300 centimeters okay and um, oops still can't type today there we go. So now what I can do is uh, place this over here. And I'm going to keep it locked to the right axis. Oops. And then I'll pause while I go make a few more. So um, what I've got now are these cubes that are going to be under the connect object, which are going to remove the door frame. But I need to make sure that they're in the right order so the door frames 
um, or excuse me, create a door frame. So we're going to have our door um, slots, which are cubes, and then we're going to have our walls. Okay. And uh, sometimes you might run into some problems with the geometry. And if you do, you can just uncheck high quality. And it, in this case, isn't going to uh, make it any better. We want to keep it as is right now. But we've got this layout um, inside of our building already uh, done, and it's been five minutes. Um, well, it's done minus, you know, a little bit of texturing, and we could probably put some uh, crown molding around the bottom and top using the spline right here. But, um, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good already. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create some shelving to go inside of this. And how I'm going to do that is actually use this plane as reference. We'll uh, give it a um, layout of 8 by 5. And we'll set it to 800 by 500. And we'll divide that by 2, actually. Put it on the z-axis and drop it to the floor. Okay, so that'll be good, but I actually want to make it 600 by 250. And then we'll hide the interiors and go ahead and again, the same process. What we're going to do is select um, these polygons. And because these polygons aren't actually touching, what I can do is um, select all of these at the same time and make them editable and one giant polygon, um, which works because uh, we aren't working with polygons here. We're working with, uh, we're working, well, actually, um, it's not going to be one giant polygon I lied because they're not connected, um, but it works because now we still have that selection of, um, of splines here, which is going to give us this, which is what we wanted, minus these two right here. Um, actually, in this case, we do, technically speaking, want these right here. And now what we do is we go ahead and go to Mesh, Commands, Edge to Spline. And we drag that out, and we leave the polygon this time. Set the edge to uh, 200, negative 200, 100, um, actually would probably be better. And we're going to add some uh, depth to it. And um, we're going to make sure we close our spline. Nope, we're not. Um, yeah, we will, but not yet. Um, what we're going to do first is add more depth, but I want it to come in. So it'll be five and then we'll uh, close our spline, and then we'll make our extrude object editable, editable. and um, we'll take these caps right here and delete them. And then we'll delete our back caps since we already have that plane and we don't need it. And we'll just call this shelving or shelves. And now we can go ahead and just drop that to the floor. Oops, we need to make our, we need to go into model mode. We're going to try this one more time. I guess they are on the floor, actually. Um, kind of. Close enough. Anyways, um, so we can go ahead and just kind of drag these into place. And um, yeah, we have our shelves and our layout inside of our building. And... Um, and this isn't something you have to, you know, do inside of a building. These are just some really useful ways to um, model quickly, just roughly um, getting pretty far pretty quickly. And then you can go in and tweak it more. But um, yeah, that's what I have for you today. And again, I'm Sam Wilker from thinkparticle.com. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about uh, this building generator, go ahead and check out thinkparticle.com. And uh, hopefully this has been useful for you. If you have some uh, questions or 
other ideas for tips or tricks that you'd like to hear about, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below or email me, sam at thinkparticle.com, and I'd be happy to help. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.